Hi, this is Bill again, and today we're going to be making pizza dough from scratch. It's very fast, very easy. So, let's get started. Okay, first, we're going to take a bowl of one cup of very warm water. The warm water is where you stick your finger in there and it feels warm but it's not hot. Okay? One cup. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of instant yeast. And we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. We're also going to add two tablespoons granulated sugar. And we're going to whisk that up. Okay, just a blend. going to set that aside. We're going to take our mixing bowl, large mixing bowl, and we're going to add three cups all-purpose flour. Three cups to the bowl. We're going to just fluff it around and make a well in the center. Do that. We're going to add the water mixture with the yeast. Now a lot of times people tell you to let your yeast rise, let it sit for five or ten minutes. But this is instant yeast. So you really don't have to do that. So we're going to combine that to the flour. going to mix that. Now on the side I have a little extra flour just in case. Just in case we need it. Okay so we're going to start stirring and we're going to mix from the edges to the center. And we're going to use a spoon to do this initially and we're going to switch to our hands. Okay just like that. You can turn the bowl, incorporate all the water, into the flour. And it's already trying to start to form a ball or stick together. So this is a good time that we add two tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons. Drizzle it in there and Start mixing again. Now we're going to mix this and sometimes flour has different saturations for water so that's why we have our extra flour aside. And in this case here it's still wet. See how wet? So we're going to take some of our extra flour and we're going to drizzle some on the top and some around the edges of the bowl. And we're going to continue to edges to the middle, edges to the center. See? Now it's coming together. So sometimes you just have to add a little more flour, but rarely do you have to add more water. So. We go, we just continue to do that, and we'll clean off our spoon. The way I do that is put a little flour on the spoon and just take it off with my finger. 
the back with that. Just the big chunks. Okay. Now, we're going to take a little flour and we're going to dust our work surface. In my case here, it's a cutting board. You get a little on your hands here like this. Mix this like this and scrape the edges of the bowl with your hand. Get the extra flour off and you roll. Now, the softer you can get your flour, you know, the better your your crust will be as far as being tender. So, now this is a good time. We're going to take some dough onto the work surface. And I'm going to pull this into the picture so you can see it. Okay? Then what we're going to do is just Start kneading this dough. Okay. Take the edges to the middle and push it down. Edges to the middle and push it down, like that. Just like that. You can roll it around a little here. And I'm going to add just a little more flour on top. You don't want to start with too much flour because if the flour has the right absorption rate or consistency, then it's already going to be good. And if you put too much flour, then your dough will be too stiff. And we want it to feel a little tacky and then it'll be smooth and if you stick your finger in it after you're done and it feels a little sticky inside well that's okay as long as you can hold it outside now we're going to clean off my hands and the way we do that we put flour in our hands and we roll it so gently so doesn't splash all over you and all over the place. So, clean our hands like so. And then we continue. Knee like that. Okay. Now we should need for ten minutes with a rest in the in the in the middle. So sometimes you break it down to two rests. And we're gonna go by the feeling of the dough. Okay? See how this is coming together nice. And now this amount of dough is gonna we're gonna if you make personal pan pizzas like I always do now. Um, if you make personal pan pizzas this dough ball here will make five pizzas. That's why a lot of times I, uh, I'll make pizza and then I use the same dough to make breadsticks. And if you make breadsticks, you already have the dough. And just the last time, I think here, a little more flour. So I think in the end here, this flour, and, and maybe I don't want to say this because you don't want to put the flour in all at once in the beginning because again, we don't know. So you play by ear. As long as you can handle this flour, it's okay. Okay, now we're good. So I think all in all, 
I may have put three and one half cups, maybe. But again, you'll know by your feel. And see that or not? Okay, now see it wants to stick semi, but what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest for seven minutes. And with seven minutes, we're going to add a little more flour on top just to keep it from drying. Not that it'll dry in seven minutes, but we always do that. And I just take my bowl that I mixed in, I cover it. And that's that, that. So now we're going to wait seven minutes. And I'll be back in seven minutes to continue. This is Bill, and we're making pizza dough. Okay, <clears throat> we're back. And now we're gonna finish up. Remove the bowl, and there's our dough. Beautiful dough. Okay, nice. Pick it up, won't stick. Okay, we're gonna take some olive oil in our bowl, our container. We're going to drizzle it in just a little. And we're going to swish this around in our hand up the sides of the container. Then we're going to take our dough ball. We're going to place it in the container, press it down a little bit, turn it over so both sides are coated with oil. We're going to take our cover, I'm going to cover it. Now you don't need a container like this, you can use a bowl, cover it with saran wrap or a towel, put it in a draft free place, let it sit for one hour, or if you prefer, like I do, I put this in the refrigerator and let it ferment overnight, like 10 or 12 hours. Then I take it out and portion it. This will make five pizzas personal pan pizzas. Okay? Um, this is Bill, and we made pizza dough.